Looks like a memorial. You've got a face like a thundercloud. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Keep at it, everyone! Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. Got somewhere to be. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. You went inside it, and it transformed. Almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a man. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Uthit, Vinasha. Quick, better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. The sculptor wanted something even bigger, twice the size, covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I had hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. Tanakh territory. By the sun, the Tanakh? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two.
What makes this coming embassy so special? Well, just like today, it is special because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? Well, no. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Your cousin, Vashav. How long has he been a Tanakh captive? Five years. Tanakh emissaries swear he is well, but I wonder. That tribe is renowned for its brutality. How did he survive? Well, I'll know soon enough. If you see him before I do, tell him that I await him in Meridian, where he belongs. If I see him, I will. When you say years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. How did you get the Tanakh to talk again after the war? The same way I got you to talk. By giving gifts. <laughs> the Tanakh like tiaras? <laughs> More like medals, spices, and relics looted during the fighting. We've met with them on several occasions, and the gifts seem to have eased the tension. But this coming embassy is the most important yet. The best sign we've had so far that the Tanakh want lasting peace. Edelman looks happy. You got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? <laughs> yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But... I find I'm always trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. I... I need to get going. Uh, one moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? long enough for us to spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. I do hope to see Meridian again, Avat. And you. But this mission, it's my life. It's all I can think about. I have to stay focused. 
What happens after? I can't imagine that. I... I wouldn't know where to begin. Well, if that place were to end up being Meridian, know that you will always receive a boundless welcome here. Tend to your mission, Aloy. I will hope for your success and look forward to your return. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall, and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Itaman. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? Itaman. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion. <laughs> 